For anybody starting out, I think the important thing is, is not to buy everything because there, there is a big, you know, the, I think one of the attractions of triathlon is it, it's the glamour, the glitz, you know, and we say, oh yeah, all the gear and no idea. So get the basics first. If you're going to be a swimmer, get a pair of trunks, get some goggles, and then you get the add-ons. Speedo do an amazing amount of stuff. Um, I, I was lucky. I worked with Speedo going into the 2000 Games. Really, really innovative there with what was coming through. We changed things. Lots of them worked. One or two didn't. But you try them and you see what's going on. And I'd say with triathletes on the swimming side, be aware of what is out there. Do you need a kickboard? Do you need a pool boy? Which different wetsuit do you need? Are you, are you going to pay, pay a lot of money for an, a really expensive wetsuit? Or maybe your swimming's not good enough at that level. So let's look at, the, let's look at what's required. Talk to people, um, talk to the retail outlets because they want you to come back so they're going to give you good advice. So make sure you get what is, what is useful. And on the bikes, do not go and buy the most expensive bike. It's not going to do you any good. Get the lightest, get what you can handle. For running gear, get into the shops, listen to people. You, you don't need the lightest pair of racing shoes out there because if you're too heavy, they're going to wreck your legs. It's, it's listening to people, try them on. But always remember that all, all the additions are just that, they're additions. And it doesn't matter how good your gear is if you don't put in the basic work to get there. I think with triathlon there is a fear, I, I can swim, I can run, I'm scared of the bike. or change that for any particular sport but you don't know until you have a go and there is throughout the history of triathlon people have come in very average at one of the disciplines and that then becomes their strength because it's new and they find things that they didn't believe they had so absolutely give it a go it, it just repays you so much what we are lucky with in Great Britain there are so many races now I mean you know I could I could go out next weekend and have four or five different races within 50 miles. And start with something you feel you can comfortably finish and then gradually progress. I think, I think the old ideas of starting with half Ironman or Ironman are long gone. You know, how, how do you know how good you can be at sprint distance or Olympic distance if you don't start there? Much, much easier to move up than to move down. But there's loads of great races around. I mean, just, just in the London area, and well, the London Triathlon down in the London docks at XL, that, that's a totally fantastic race. Um, it's not typical because there are so many people there, there's different distances, we're over two days, but it is fabulous for, for an involvement, for the excitement, it's great. Um, just a little way outside London, Blenheim, shorter distances, great surroundings, great atmosphere. Um, what, a, what a finish, what a transition area, Blenheim Castle, my goodness me. Or start with a swimming pool event. Why not? You know, we're used to that, take away the fear of the open water and then progress from there. That's how many, many people start. Never believe that you can't do anything, because you can. Because you can. You just have to work hard at it.